In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect CGRP Windows Forms application to MySQL Server and localhost using ZAMP. And I'm using Visual Studio 2022 in this tutorial. So to start with, click the Create a New Project button, then select the C-Sharp Programming Language, Windows Platform, then Desktop Application. And make sure to select the Windows Forms app.net framework, then click the Next button and provide the name for your project. For example, I'm just going to name this as C-Sharp MySQL Connection. MySQL Connection. And you can change the location of your project, but for me, I'm just going to leave the default location, which is in my laptop. See users, Dell, source, repos, then click the create button. Okay, and then we have to add the reference to MySQL. So in your project, in the Solution Explorer, you can right click the references, then manage you get packages, and click the browse uh, tab, and search for MySQL.data my sql that data and then select the mysql that data and click the install button then click the ok button then i accept and just wait until the installation is done so after the installation we have now mysql that data and the references in our project okay so I'm just going to add button here. This is where I'm going to write my connection to SQL Server. But usually when I'm working with a project, I create class for database connection and for other data manipulation uh, codes. Okay? So I'm just going to uh, change the text to connect to my SQL Server. Okay? Then double click. We can start writing codes and we have to import the MySQL library using MySQL the data that is MySQL client. Okay, then create a MySQL connection. So MySQL connection. Then I'm just going to name this uh, variable as con because new MySQL connection. And also, I'm going to declare another variable for the connection string. String uh, my cons tr or cons tr equals to server. Um, since um, I'm just going to use the local host, so this is a local host. Local host. Then semicolon the user which is the default uh, user that is the root password and I did not set password for my SQL server so I'm just going to leave it as blank then the name of the database so in my case that is so for the database name I'm going to use the school DB okay, so school database equals to school underscore db then i'm going to use this variable inside the mysql connection and i create a new mysql connection then con that open to open the connection to test if i am connected with the server i'm just going to use the message box that show then con that state that to stream. Okay, then run the program and uh, click the connect to MySQL server. So the state is open. It means that I'm able to connect with the SQL server. So I'm, go I'm going to uh, change some of the values here. For example, for the root, I'm going to use admin and I'm just going to add uh, uh, characters for the password then try to run again and click the button connect to mysql and i get some error local host for user admin using mysql the password failed it means it's denied for user admin so since uh, my 
uh, user is root and I did not set password for my SQL server. So I'm going to set this to root again then remove the password and try to run again and click the connect to so I misspell the connect to so I'm just going to remove this okay connect to my SQL server so try again then click the connect to my SQL uh, server that is open so that's how to connect C Sharp Windows Forms application to my SQL server. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Please consider subscribing, like and share this video, and click the notification bell so you'll get notified every time I upload a tutorial.